Hey, what's up everybody? It's me the Home Cook Hero back with a new video for y'all. And today, y'all, I'm gonna show you how to make skillet corn, fried corn, whatever you want to call it, y'all. It's so so good. I cooked it in this cast iron skillet and some bacon grease, y'all. Also doing some butter and some maple syrup to really bring out the sweetness, y'all. So if you are into it, let's go. All right, y'all. So now I'm gonna first start off by just shucking the corn that I got. I got three stalks or three ears of corn that have been i guess like semi removed from the husk but as you'll see right here i prefer to do it in like a bag or like honestly if you do it in like some water it makes the de-stringing process or like taking up all of those little fibers and everything it makes that process a lot easier but as you'll see today i just didn't decide to use that method but do whatever works for you if you want to do it in some water fine if you want to do it in the bag like i'm doing it right here that's also fine so y'all i'm just going to do that with the other remaining ears of corn I'm um, just speeding up the clip because you kind of get the point and yeah, you know, just take your time and just remove all those stems as much as possible. I don't mind some of the stringiness of it in there, but try to remove as much as you can. And then, y'all, I'm just showing you my little tip for like how I like to just cut the kernels of the corn off of the actual cob. So I just have a larger bowl and then a smaller bowl. The smaller bowl should be small enough to fit basically all the way to the bottom or the base of the bowl so it doesn't slide around or anything. And I'm using glass bowls just to show you all a little bit better but do whatever you know do whatever kind of bowls you want to but yeah y'all i'm just going to place the corn on that top bowl the smaller bowl and just yeah run my knife down i want to try to get as close as possible to the actual like inside of the cob and you'll kind of feel it as you go down but you know when you do your first pass of the knife you'll you'll kind of get a sense of how far in you can go into the actual cob before you're not really cutting any kernels off you just stab in the stab in the center of it but yeah, y'all, you want to, want to do that for all three ears of corn. And after that, you will be ready to place everything in the skillet. And that's when all the magic is really, really going to start happening, y'all. And y'all actually grew up near a farm that grew a whole lot of corn all the time, every summer. And so this, this method of preparing corn definitely brings back a lot of those kind of like childhood memories from Maryland. And it's definitely one of my favorite ways to prepare corn, y'all. So after you finish all of that, I'm just going to, to my cast iron skillet that I had preheating on medium heat for like five minutes or so. Not really till it got to the point of smoking, but definitely make sure it's nice and hot. And then I went in with a little bit, about a half a teaspoon of some bacon fat that I had in my refrigerator. If you've seen any of my other videos where I use bacon fat or I cook some bacon, you always want to save that bacon fat because you can use it in so many other dishes and it will always, always, always elevate the flavors and give it just such a nice depth of like saltiness and just that smoky flavor from the bacon y'all trust me on that trust me on that so y'all i'm going in with all of the corn just placing it into the pan and i want to just basically put the corn on a nice even layer um you don't want the corn to be all bunched up to one little area you want to put it on a nice even layer so the bottom of it can really start to get nice and charred so i'm just going to season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper i really want the natural sweetness in the corn to really shine through in this dish so i'm not going to over season it at all because you don't want to just put too many other competing flavors into the corn because you won't really be able to taste the corn you're going to be able, you're just going to be tasting the garlic or whatever you put into it and we don't want that not in this nice sweet corn and yo, after it's been in the skillet for about a minute and a half to two minutes, you could definitely start to stir it around as you saw me just do just now. And also, you know, you probably should do that after you put the seasonings in to make the first stirring up part actually worth your while because you're actually mixing in the salt and pepper at the same time. And then y'all to really bring out that sweetness I was just talking about with that corn, I am going in with a little bit of maple syrup and also went in with about a tablespoon of butter y'all. So now, y'all, I'm just stirring everything up together, making sure that maple syrup is all combined throughout the corn, making sure the butter is all combined throughout, y'all. And then you want to just leave it on the stove for another couple of minutes or so or until the corn is charred how you like it. I don't really want it too, too charred because it's going to take away from what? That natural sweetness in the corn that I was really, really craving at this point, y'all. So I'm just, like I said, mixing everything up together and just showing you how good that corn looks. It still has a nice bite to it. It's not really mushy or anything like that. It's perfect, y'all. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much all I have for y'all today. I really enjoyed this video and really showing y'all how I like to prepare this skillet corn or my version of like the classic Southern style skillet corn kind of dish, y'all. I, of course, had to sprinkle with a little bit of parsley just to make that yellow pop. 
But y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos just like this. Later, y'all.